Are you looking for a vacation property in Orlando, Florida? Well, stick around because on this video, we're going to be talking about one of the premier properties about to open up and we're getting to it right now. My name is June Kranick and on this channel we do videos every single week of what it's actually like to live in Orlando and Central Florida. So if that's the information that you want and need, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and click the bell below so that you're notified every time we do a new video. We have people reaching out to us week over week and my team and myself, well we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving to Orlando or Central Florida or thinking about investing in a vacation property or an investment property, well, shoot us a text, give us a call, send us an email, however you wish to connect, because we got you covered when it comes to moving to Orlando and Central Florida. So, Paraiso Grande. Yes, I had to be schooled on the proper pronunciation for this unbelievable property. Um, it's, it's being developed by Park, uh, Park Square Homes, which is actually, I'm living in a Park Square Homes right now. This is an incredible new property that is under development construction as we speak. It is on a primo piece of land, which I'll talk about in just a moment. Park Square Homes, however, has been around for over 40 years. They are a family owned business. I don't believe that they are yet to be on the New York Stock Exchange. Good news, um, because they answer to themselves. And uh, I know from my own experience that I had a great experience with Park Square Homes and they have a great reputation in the industry as a whole. So this particular property, and I don't know how many acres it is, which that is not on the site where I was looking, but I can guarantee you it's, it's a lot. <laughs> but it's gonna be off of iDrive. Um, if you follow the signs driving on uh, iDrive and there is a map there for you to see, and you follow the signs to SeaWorld, you're gonna go past that about a mile and a half. And there you will see on the right-hand side um, the sign of Paraiso Grande, and it is brand, brand, brand new. Now, directly across the street, you can see Marriott Vacation Club. They have a property there, and I'm not sure if that's where their corporate location is or not, but I do know that that's where their sales center is. So on the other side of that property, it is located next to Festival Bay, which is on another part of the busier part of iDrive. And that's where Festival Bay is a, an area that has a, um, like games and it has a, a movie theater and there's restaurants and the premium outlet malls are there, which are a busy, busy nightmare. Sorry, that's just how I feel. Um, it is all developed for tourism and for shopping and for dining and for vacationing in Orlando, Florida. So it is a primo piece of land. And it's so funny because uh, probably about two or three weeks ago, I went to a movie at Festival Bay and driving up, I saw on the right hand side, all of this clearing of land. I was like, I wonder what they're building there. And of course I thought, wow, another apartment complex, but no, they are building this incredible short-term rental vacation property. And it's only vacation rentals and uh, short-term rental properties. Now this is coined as Park Square's newest luxury vacation resort destination. And I think that they're gonna live up to their name. Wait till I tell you the size of some of these Mac Daddy properties. Um, so, and I'll get to that in just a minute. If you're getting any value out of this video, do me a favor and hit that like button and comment below and tell me, are you looking to purchase a vacation property or investment property in Orlando, Florida? So let's talk about the square footage and size of these 
massive properties. First of all, there's no pricing on the website, nowhere to be found. I did submit an inquiry for, you know, to ask questions and I've not heard anything back as of yet. Um, there's, there is a uh, signature property and there's estate properties. Signature properties are on 50 foot wide sites and the estate properties are on 70 foot wide properties. And I'll tell you the distinction in just a moment. These properties range from five bedroom, five bath, all the way up to 15 bedroom, 15 bath with two additional half baths. Yes, these things are massive. And you know they're built for short-term rental, call it Airbnb because of the matching bedrooms to bathrooms. So I have some pictures, some stills, and a couple of diagrams so you can see the massiveness. Is that a word, massiveness? The massiveness of these properties, um, crazy, just crazy. So a five bedroom, five bath, it starts at a five bedroom, five bath, at uh, 3,042 square feet, two car garage, of course, on 50 foot wide. Then it goes to a six bedroom, six bath, which is actually a little less square footage, 2,913 square feet, 50 foot wide, two car garage. So I'm not gonna go through every single one because you'll get bored. So eight bedroom, eight bath, 3,260 square feet, two car garage, 50 foot wide. Now, I met, forgot to mention, all of them have come with a pool, all of them. So it's th not even an option. You're getting a pool. I'm dying to know the price on these. So then I go to a nine bedroom, nine bath, <laughs> 4,003 square feet, two car garage, 50 foot wide, two, did I say two car garage? Yes. Then a 10 bedroom, nine bath at 4,232 square feet, two car garage, still 50 foot wide. Once we hit 11 bedrooms, that's when it goes to 70 foot. So those are now called estate homes. Um, so then it goes to a 13 bedroom, 13 bath. Like this is like lifestyles of the rich and famous on International Drive. 5,590 square feet, three car garage. And then I went to the very end, which is 15 bedroom, 15 bath, two half bath with three car garage, 6,374 square feet with a pool. And those are 70 foot wide. So like I said, I am dying to know the pricing on it. So I, when I went out there to film, I was telling my editor that like I have like four minutes because there was literally nothing, but they have built one and I'm pretty confident that's going to be the model home. So I think that's the 15 bedroom, 15 bath, I'm assuming, because you can tell by the, um, the massiveness and please correct me if that's wrong, but if it's not wrong, it should be a word because it feels good to say massiveness. But anyway, by the sheer massive, size of that property. It was really, really, really big. Um, I can't wait to go in it and look around. So I will kind of keep you abreast of what's going on over there. Um, this is a wow property. Oh, and I forgot to tell you um, that they will have a clubhouse. Of course, they'll have the Aquarius clubhouse. They'll have a huge pool. They're gonna have to have a massive pool with a lazy river, a game room, a clubhouse, a cafe, and also a fitness center. Um, the HOA is uh, $306 for both the estates, uh, the state homes, and the signature homes. So the same HOA, and that's per month. And so, um, yeah. So these are incredibly big, built, for families coming down to Orlando, built for investors to purchase, to put on Airbnb, VRBO. I know there's at least, I heard recently there's about 200 sites now, 
Booking.com, all different sites now to book um, so that these properties can not only be a vacation property for you, but they can also pay for themselves. Pretty good idea. Be a little, uh, little side hustle there or a big side hustle because a 15 bedroom, 15 bath. If you want to put in the comments and tell me what is your guesstimate of how much the 15 bedroom, 15 bath is, my guess is 1.4 before one upgrade. That's what I think. But I could be totally wrong. And I think 1.4 for a 15 bedroom house is not too bad. Sorry. Um, I also, last thing I wanted to say is that as of recent, hardly anybody is buying residential homes, which is, you know, it is what it is. Everybody is buying short term, which I don't mind because that's really the direction it seems like that my company has been going in is, um, and we're in the Mecca of short term rentals here in Orlando, Florida. And so uh, even with the interest rates and whatnot, people still see the value of putting their money into real estate in Orlando and Central Florida and, and wherever. So um, yeah. So today we were talking about Paradiso. Oh, I said it wrong. Paradiso Grande. You like it? Um, but if that's not what you were looking for, you gotta let us know. You have to reach out and let us know exactly what it is you're looking for so we can get those videos out to you right away. And remember, if you're thinking about moving to Orlando or Central Florida or investing in a vacation home or a investment property, well then shoot us a text, give us a call, send us an email, however you wish to connect because we got you covered when it comes to moving to Orlando and Central Florida. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.